Testing. Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Tuesday the 13th of September 2022. Quick look at yesterday's, well in fact we've got no uh, yesterday's results because we had a no bet, so that's uh, where we are there. Uh, straight into today's racing then for Tuesday the 13th. So uh, filter 1 nil, which is our structural filter. Ratio filter nil, but we do have an alternate. So red car on the flat on the 218. It's a restricted novice stakes, uh, bandy, class 5, 2 year old, 5 furlong, good to soft. Right, what do we know about uh, red car 5 furlong? Well, we know it's very quick. It's modelled at 100, which is the, uh, the top, uh, top rating for speed surface profiles. Uh, it's equivalent to Lingfield uh, 5 on the all weather, to give you an idea. Uh, Subtle, Dundalk and Newcastle are just slightly slower at 99. Kempton, Wolverhampton are a fair bit slower at 97. And Chelmsford, the slowest of the lot on the all weather, 96. So uh, bear that in mind then. So it's uh, super quick, uh, five furlongs, slightly tempered due to the good to soft, but that won't take too much of a shine off them, we don't think. So uh, there's seven in the race. Uh, uh, grab this and uh, how do they cut up? Well, the likely favourite is this, uh, is this thank you, appreciate. Uh, what do we know about that horse? Well, uh, it's had uh, four runs, Thirsk, uh, a couple of air, uh, and uh, then at Ripon. Um, all at six furlongs, uh, and they're modelled uh, 97, 98, 98, 97. So, so a little bit slower, quite a bit slower. So you look at Kempton, Wolverhampton for uh, uh, thank you, appreciate. Uh, and uh, it's, it's going to race over a furlong shorter on the quicker surface. And it looks to need uh, slightly slower. So we can give that the chop. So uh, thank you, appreciate, uh, is out as far as we're concerned. Right. What do we get got next then? Uh, let's have a look. Um, right. So uh, swing this round. Uh, Jackster, uh, this number one. Uh, what do we know about that? Um, uh, it won a while ago at Ripon uh, six furlongs, uh, which is model 97. It was hanging. We don't think that horse is going to uh, have the pace uh, so we can get rid of Jackster. Right, so that's that one gone. Um, number four, uh, Bel Belcito. Uh, couple of runs, uh, Air and Southall. Uh, it's over six furlongs, Model 98 and Model 94. Uh, it's not, not got the pace and also there's a link through to... Um, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, Thank you, appreciate, which we've already rejected. So we can get rid of Belcito. Uh, and then you've got uh, number six, uh, Fortunate Star. Um, uh, basically, uh, uh, Carlisle, uh, Carlisle Novice Stakes, um, Model 95, good, which is a fair bit slower. And it's not, it's not a pace horse, that. Uh, so Fortunate Star. Uh, gets the chop. So uh, what are we left with? Um, uh, we're left with um, uh, Lady Jane Grey here, uh, Dark Crusade, and uh, Once a Day. So it is an FTO. So uh, first time out to then. So let's talk about uh, number seven. Um, basically, uh, uh, it's come from the Kodiak uh, sort of. Uh, Reading. It's come from sp speed, and this is what's involved in. So, so we can't rule that one out. So we've had to uh, uh, include that in the process. So we've got a pound uh, win at uh, about uh, fifteen to two on average. So seven after one. Uh, simply on the virtue, we can't rule it out, uh, and. Uh, uh, that's the way the uh, it shapes that shapes the betting. So, so what we're we left with now, we're left with this Lady Jane Grey number three. Uh, the Lady Jane Grey um, basically has had uh, two runs: Lingfield uh, on the turf at five, and Lingfield on the all weather at five. And Lingfield on the all weather is a, is an exact match, and also Lingfield on the turf is is a hundred as well. So, uh, so that's uh, pretty good. It was up with the pace. Uh, on both occasions uh, and uh, if you look at that horse it has the uh, the f what we look for in a five furlong horse is it is its uh, its uh, um, galloping frequency 
is is bang on for uh, speed horse. So uh, so that's um, that's a definite as far as we're concerned. So Lady Jane Grey uh, is is we're going to use that. Uh, we got uh, what do we get on that? Um, we got about three to one. Uh, it's slightly drifted now, but we're using it as an anchor anyway. So uh, three to one win at a pound. Uh, so that will give us um, uh, a break-even situation because the one we really like is this Dark Crusade. Now, uh, what do we know about Dark Crusade? It's had uh, uh, two runs, one at Ripon, uh, which was uh, five furlongs, model 99, which is uh, speed, and one at Catterick, which is also five furlongs, good to firm, uh, model 98, slightly slower. Now, there's a link with, uh, if you go through that, uh, if you go through the form on that race, there's a, there's a significant link with uh, with the squealer, uh, the horse uh, that uh, we we uh, got wrong uh, about a week ago, uh, and that squealer was in the Roses Stakes, which was a, a significant um, decent race. So uh, so there's a good link there. Um, this horse, uh, Dark Crusade, uh, has has got to, has got the pace. It's got the uh, the the sort of profile. Uh, and uh, that's what we're looking at. So we like we like Dark Crusade. So this is going to be our main selection, uh, we, and we're going to have two pounds, two pound per eight pound win. Uh, uh, we managed to get nine to two on that. So 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 we're on three horses. We're on uh, uh, Lady Jane Grey uh, as a break-even uh, situation. Um, so that will just get our money back. We're on this uh, first time out once a day, which is number seven, uh, which will give us a, a reasonable profit if that comes in. Uh, and the uh, the main profit driver, as far as we're concerned, is going to be Dark Crusade number five, uh, which we've got the bulk of the money on. Uh, so we've got uh, four pounds overall per eight pound units. In our case, that'll be 400 pounds because we're 100 times larger. Uh, and we've got 0.5 of a, a maximum unit of eight pounds, so uh, exposure. So that, that's where we are. Um, just to say, uh, things have been pretty gutty recently. The accounts come down a little bit. Uh, uh, it's static from yesterday at 68 units in profit overall. So uh, hopefully we can start swinging into some uh, some results, uh, and this may be the start of it. So uh, that's what we're doing. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.